Breathe in. How much time do you clean? Uh, I came in last Wednesday, so. Ten days. Ten days. Let's give it to him. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank God for last night's rest this morning. Rise. Thank God for his grace and his mercy. Amen. Grace is always giving me what I don't deserve. And mercy is not giving me what I do deserve. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. How are everybody doing? Great. All right, good to be back here at Kurt Bride. My partner, Robert Hayes, is somewhere here. He's in spirit, but he's not here in the physical. Um, I know, like y'all know, that, listen, it was no vacations when I was getting high. I didn't give a damn what Mother Nature had to bring. I was getting high. You know what I'm saying? So the same energy I had to die is the same energy I got to what? Live. Thank God I don't live too far from here. So I had, you know, it was a hop and a skip. From Larchwood, right? But if I had to, I would have walked here or caught the bus here. So there's no excuses for me, all right? I took this very serious, all right? Um, this afternoon, we don't got that much time. We got a beauty like Michael Jackson at what? 12 o'clock, right? Yeah. All right, so let's get in and out like bank robbers. I'm going to talk about spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. The old us brought us in here. But the new person that's going to resurrect, right? Like my man Vic was talking about being a new individual, that's going to take us out of here. Anybody hear that? Yeah. Who know freedom ain't free? It's a price to pay to get what? Free. Yeah. The old man want to shoot dope, pop pills, get drunk, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The new man and woman <laughs> want to what? Do just the opposite. Stay clean, stay focused, be productive men oh, and women of society and help others. All right? So whoever we feed will grow. And whoever we don't feed, neglect, will die. All right? And that's the spiritual warfare. All right, number one, rules and regulations. Do what I want to do. It's the old us versus the new us is what? Following rules. Hmm. Who here still doing what you want to do? You don't give a damn about what? Anybody. All right? You might want to talk about that quickly. You might want to talk about that. All right? How's that thing? How can I get us high again? Doing what I want to do. One and two. Come on, Johnny. Through self-will. Like, there's, I'll say that I'm fully giving God something, but I keep this much of it. Uh-huh. That, that little bit, just like they say, the faith of a month or seed, well, guess what? That my self-will of a mustard seed will keep me continuing to do things that I shouldn't be doing. So you're not totally ready to 100% No, I am ready, but I'm you're saying right. that I still, I still yeah, am working on giving it fully to God. Very good. Yes. Very good. How much time you got clean, Johnny? Um, almost, I think it's like 22 or 23 days. All right. God bless. Yeah. Come on, what's your name, sis? Shannon. Hey, Shannon. I'm an All right. Good. I'm working on it. Like, I can't say that I'm perfect and I'm not breaking no rules. Like, I know I'm breaking rules, you know, too. You know, but I, I know that I need to work on it and, and I try not to do that. Good. Very good. How much time you have clean? Uh, I'm going to have a month on the tour. Hey, all right. Well, so bless. Come on. Um, I know, like, I catch myself, like, uh, it's like five minutes after smoke break. You know what I mean? And, and uh, maybe I didn't go out to smoke. But yet now, I want to go in my room and smoke. You know what uh -huh. I mean? After we just had a smoke break. Uh huh. Like, I mean, what the fuck is wrong with me? Uh huh. You know what I mean, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. So uh, those those are things I need to, to watch out for because um, they will. It seems like you know what I mean. I noticed the little small things will get you out. Of here. That's right. Anybody hear that? The small really things. You know what it I mean? becomes the big things. Such thing is this. This such thing is that. It's uh huh. So That's right. How much time do you have clean? Hey, all right, God bless. Check it out. Those who, who those who break rules, right? They like they fall in the category of king baby and queen babies. Is that true? Yeah. Number one, right? King baby, queen baby. They believe that what? Their needs come first and have no concern for others. Anybody here like that? It's all about me, myself, and who? Very good. The hell with everybody else. King and queen baby. Point number two. Have blinders on when it comes to what? The perspective of others. Once again, selfish individuals and sisters. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. Number three, extreme arrogance. Extreme arrogance. Can't tell these, these people nothing. They know everything. 
All right? They know how the disease of addiction works, operate. They sponsor themselves. They got all the answers. They tell the doctors how much doses they need, what's wrong with them. They know everything. Arrogant. They don't need to be here. So I don't. they can't give us a good answer why they're here, but they're so damn supremely arrogant. Anybody that ain't like that? Let's keep moving. But that's right here. Dependency, but want to appear fiercely independent. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I'm acting like I'm ready, but I'm not ready. Huh. Anybody hear that? Yes, Dependence prepare me for independence. Right. Is that true? Yeah. I need y'all, the therapist, the techs, the counselors, the nurse, the doctors to help me. What? Get ready for what? Independence. This right. is a temporary residence yes. before I leave Kirk Ride. I need dependence to prepare me for independence. Wow. To thyself be true. Your hand was up in the back. Okay. Okay. That's good. I'm glad you're honest, brother. I'm gonna... put in and I, put out. I understand that. Easy does it, right? How much time do you clean? Um, 11 days. 11 days. <laughs> King and Queen babies. All right? Uh, old, the old me don't follow rules. The new me is following rules and regulations. Number two, dishonesty. The liars. Anybody here lying? All right, thank you. All right, who feel convicted when you lie? Feel convicted when you lie, like he was talking about. How dare you say I'm a liar, like that? Well, okay, you getting better with lying, right? Oh, uh, okay. And you catch yourself before we lie, didn't give a damn. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. we lie, we feel something. Oh, okay, yeah. So, right. What'd you say? Got a conscience. Got a conscience. Very good. How much time you got clean, brother? Four months. Four months. Over here in the corner. Yeah. Your hand was up. Dishonesty. Yeah, I catch this myself when I realize that I've been told a lie. I feel really, you know, remorseful. Uh -huh. then, I, then, I, then I ask God to forgive me automatically mm -hmm. for lying. Mm -hmm. Then I'll go ahead and pray on that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, and just keep moving. Very good. Mean? And, you know, repent for that, for telling that lie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even though it may be a, a white little lie, you know, because I have a, I have a tendency Telling half truths. Uh -huh. Even a half truth is a lie. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? So, with that, thanks a lot, Michelle. How much time you have clean? I have five, four months. Let's give it to all. All right. God bless. Come on, Johnny. I don't believe in white lies because I think any kind of lie is just a lie. Like, there ain't no lie smaller than another lie. Right. You know what I mean? Once you lie, but the thing is, when you lie and believe it yourself, that's the fucked up thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I would lie. So much that I would believe the lie, and there was nothing you could tell me. Me and you could be in a room and something be missing, and I swear up and down that I did not take it. But guess what? I, and I'll help you look for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But I would swear and cold heartedly in my heart know that I did take it, uh -huh. but I still believe that I didn't. Like, right. I swear, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. Behind Johnny, what's your name? Ben. Hey, what's up, brother? Getting better with that? Yeah. That's good. I'm gonna sign me a clean. Hey, no way, no less. They say, number check ins. How you feel today, Mr. McKnight? I'm a 35. <laughs> Lying my ass off. <laughs> I'm really a one. But I don't want you to get in my business. I don't want you to huddle around me. I don't want you to be following me. I don't want you to be concerned about me. So mind your goddamn business. So I'm going to lie about how I really feel. Wow. Dishonesty. Check this out. Here's a, let's go deeper. Some people seek attention that they will lie about how well they feel. Mm. Yep. They, tell, they tell everybody, guess what? I'm a three, but they feel real good. They like a nine, but they tell you, tell us, they are three. So they can give attention. Attention Ooh. seekers, very good. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yep. Still a lie. Anyway, you try to mix it up, it's still lies. Anybody here seek attention? Let's keep moving. Thank you, brother. Thank you. We noticed that. <laughs> All right. All right, hey, number three. Resent, resent, resentful versus what? Forgiveness. Who holding grudges? Who got resentments? Come on. Yeah, I have resentments uh, toward, right now toward uh, my, my 
siblings. Okay. You know what I mean? But, I, you know, I did my part. He didn't do his part. So I turned around and went home. Okay. So, like, I hold a little resentment for him. You know, I get over it. I forgive him. And, uh, you know what I mean? In the future. But right now, it, it's more hurt than it is, you know, resentment. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I. Okay. So How much time do you have clean? Hey, all right, go ahead. Come on.